Center City. Philadelphia, actually, Old City. Philadelphia. There she is. Uh, walk around. That's what she does. She walks around like that. I always, whenever I see those people, uh, I just, I don't know if, about you, but I automatically think about how do they go to the bathroom. So this is where Ben Franklin lived near the end of his life when he lived in Philadelphia. Matter of fact, not near the end of his life, but actually at the end of his life. Not here, not this one. This is the ghost house of Ben Franklin. So there are a lot of details of what Ben Franklin's house looked like. And this is, you know, pretty accurate to what it was if you look at the outside. And um, I think we knocked this house down in like 1812, Ben Franklin's uh, daughter or whatever. Don't, yeah, by the way, don't write any book reports off anything I say historically, but uh, Ben Franklin's daughter sold this property. I mean, if it, it's a big chunk. Look, see how big this house is? And if you look over here, these are separate houses. Um, like, that's a house. That's a separate house. There's a separate house. That's the post office. But, so this is, this is a pretty big chunk of property and you could tear that down and sell it. Oh, you see these people? They're captivated. You see how they're captivated? Because they're looking at a privy pit. A privy pit is a pit where people would throw their waste. Take your waste and you would throw it down in your privy pit. Uh, whenever they discover in a privy pit in this section of Philadelphia, they usually find a lot of uh, pottery. There's all types of things inside the privy pit besides, you know, Ben Franklin's uh, duty. This is a sculpture that on this side, it says, yo... If you look at it on this side, it says, oi. So we are in front of the Curtis building. The Curtis building was owned by this guy named Cyrus Curtis. Cyrus Curtis was a uh, magazine publisher. Uh, Ladies Home Journal was published here. And the Saturday Evening Post. Boom. Norman Rockwell. Boom. In here. So they no longer publish magazines in this building. I don't know how many magazines are even published anymore. I know they don't make the WWF magazine. This is the Magic Garden. It's one of the largest glass mosaic pieces of art in the world. I think there's over 300 colors. In this, if you look real close, you can see every piece is individual to itself. Well, I guess I guess that makes sense. So this built this piece of art was put in here uh, by Cypress Curtis because he wanted his employees to see something beautiful every day. You're looking at the Penn Mutual Life Insurance Company building. Uh, when this building was first built, it was actually a prison. The very first hot air balloon flight launched from the yard of this prison. And the person who went up in the... The person who took the balloon, they flew all the way to Deptford, New Jersey... And if you go to the Walmart at Deptford, New Jersey, if you go back where they keep the dumpsters, there is like uh, little signs that tell you the history of the hot air balloons. Not little signs, they're pretty big signs. But uh, who the hell goes behind the Walmart? No, I mean, besides hobos. Directly across the street from the Walnut Street Prison, you will find... One of the prettiest parks in the city. This is Washington Square. Um, mass burial ground, just so you know. The Walnut Street Prison was also used 
by the British troops. So the British troops would hold the uh, colonial troops captive in that prison, and they weren't treated very kindly. As a matter of fact, a lot of them were killed, and uh, they are a couple's reading a book. There's probably a skeleton two feet underneath them. Check out the door to this building, 210 Washington Square. Man, the, uh, this building was the first advertising company in America. It was uh, built around the 20, late 20s or 30s. Art Deco is the style. And uh, yeah, they don't make them like this anymore. That's a print and press. I point this out every time I come by here. Look at these people waiting in line. Look what they're trying to do. You know what they're trying to do? They're trying to take a picture with the Love Park statue, right? But all you got to do is this. Look, watch. Boom. Ready? Bam. Angles. It's all about angles. I got it. Boom. I'm done. What's... Yeah, look at this. Uh-oh. This is one of the outdoor bars near uh, City Hall. And, uh, oh, the Halloween decorations went down. And immediately... It immediately goes to Christmas. Don't, don't we celebrate Thanksgiving anymore? One of my older bits that I did back when I started this channel was a bit called Let's Watch People Fall, where I stand at this ice skating rink and I count how many people fall. Um, it's 76 degrees right now, so the ice conditions are horrible. So I think we're going to have a very good inaugural game of Let's Watch People Fall. It's Christmas time and I'm by City Hall. Let's play a game. Watch people fall. It's not an ice skating rink today, folks. It's a lake. And if you fall, it not only do you fall on cold ice, but your clothes are wet. Oh boy. We're looking for people who are hanging onto the wall. Like one of those four guys are gonna fall. You know? There's a wall holder. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's a good contender. He could fall. He could fall. Yeah, man. You fall in here. You're 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 wet for the rest of the day. Very exciting. Oh, we got a oh 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 shit. Oh no. Oh you gotta walk around all day like that. Oh, uh, this is fantastic. I mean, this is like, oh, this guy. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, what are they doing? Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, handsome Harry. Oh, he's down. Oh, whoo. How far do you guys have to go from here? Like after here, where are we going? Where, where's our? It's good. Where, how far do we have to go? Like where's our home? We're like 30 minutes away from here. You guys driving? Yeah. Yes. We are at a school in South Jersey. Yeah. I live here. You live here? Are you wet? No. You no. make see the guys living in Jersey. They don't have. Uh, <laughs> they, 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 they actually live in New York. York. New York. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, makes good. a lot of sense now. All right, boys. <laughs> I'm going to wrap this video up here in Rittenhouse Square, one of my favorite spots in the entire city. You usually get a lot of street artists. My favorite street artist in this park is the Michael Jackson impersonator. Um, so if you've ever seen a Michael Jackson impersonator, give him a dollar. Kids out there every day. We got a little chess club going on here today. Hey, <laughs> Tatney. My uh, little video, scooting around Center City, Philadelphia, showing you guys some interesting spots in the city. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, and while you're at it, please subscribe. Uh, I have merch, check out my merch. I also have a Patreon. If you want to help me out, I give you, you get bonus videos, postcards, um, bonus content, and uh, I, I'm on Cameo. If you want me to 
say happy birthday to somebody, roast one of your friends. You could book me on Cameo. And if you're not doing anything on Sunday morning, join me for a cup of coffee here, live on YouTube. Look, good things happen in Philadelphia. This is a bunch of people feeding the homeless community. So isn't that nice? Well, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I'll sail with you later. Doodles.